everyone welcome back to the shop today we're gonna go over a mistake that I made and how I'm gonna fix it okay so for those of you that have been following this build you do you do know that this was an arc and almost ready to cover plane that I'm modifying uh, uh, into I'm taking a, a tiger moth and turning it into a stop um, so what I'm doing is I'm making the whole new tail section. What, what, what literally, hang on. So the tail section uh, with the horizontal stabilizer and of course vertical, uh, it, was, it was for a, uh, I mean this is not a tiger moth. So this is what it looks like on a tiger moth. This is what it looks like on a stomp. Same fuselage, just different tail section, different wing tips. Um, so what I decided to do on this one, because we're going to go ahead and we're going to modify this, um, I ended up getting a set of uh, a PDF file um, of drawings of the plans for a quarter scale stop kit. Um, and I just had to go ahead and just resize them um, down to a fifth scale. So this is the right size. The problem is, and I'll show you, this hinge line is in the wrong spot. Now, let me show you because it took me a time to get this set up just so you're going to be able to see it. This section here slides up against the tail of the fuselage. So when this comes on and everything lines up, look, it's about a quarter inch over. It's too long. I can shorten it up, but then the hinge is going to be off. So for me, it's going to be a matter of having to cut all this apart and then reset the hinge line. And, and, and I, I really, sorry about that. I really don't want to do that. Um, so what I did do, because y'all know me too well, I, I made another outside. So we're just going to go ahead and we're going to rebuild this section, but do it right. Now let me uh, get the bench cleared off a little bit, so and I want to show you how I made the mistake. And it's a very simple mistake that can turn itself into this kind of problem. All right, let's see just how well I can explain this. These are the templates that I made. This was the very first template uh, that I traced um, pretty much off the computer screen. Uh, I've got it, so I, I, so I pretty much downsized it. It was uh, 20, about 24, it's 80% um, of, uh, of the size of a quarter scale. So I got it down to this size, traced around it on the screen, on, the, on my screen upstairs, my computer screen. Uh, and made some indicator marks. And you can see I put little pinholes on where indicators were going to be, not on my computer screen, down here. Um, so this is something I need to reference off of. Now, when this piece was cut out, because I laid this down on top and put my indicator marks on this piece. So that's, that's how I decided to transfer everything, because I've got one indicator mark here, one here, and yes, there is one up at the top. This is where my mistake came from if I place this piece over the top because this is how I take my indicators and put them on here so when I'm going when I go ahead and come across this is how I make my marks on the outside of the wood that's how I made these indicators here so I knew where I had to cut out so if you come on in and I didn't do it this way I did it on the inside and I'll show you how what I did but if you come on up here and I put this on, you see that I put my hinge in, a, in the wrong spot, it's a quarter inch off. That's where everything needs to be. Now yes, I can come in, if I want to, I can add onto here, cut it off, um, but I pretty much decided I'm just gonna go ahead um, because there's a couple little things on this I'm really not 100% happy with, so I think I'll take the time to, uh, to do this right because there were too many some of the gaps were pretty messy I had to fill them and uh, I mean this side everything looks really tight but this side it doesn't um, but nothing was gonna fall apart on this one little things like my little I forgot to put this little marker in on this on this uh, this upright coming down so um, this was not that hard to do it was just a matter of cutting it and gluing it together and it was done so this is about maybe a half hour 40 minutes of time to, to go ahead and cut all this out and to glue it into place so but anyway as you can see there's my screw up right there everything else lined up nicely um 
this part here is the rear part of the fuselage and as you can see if I slid that up to where it's supposed to be at which I'm just going to kind of eyeball it here the best I can this is where it should be this should have slid up that way and that's what slid this thing over uh, so it ended up being too long so on this one we're going to go ahead we're going to probably use this or use these lines because these lines are correct where it needs to be so i can go ahead and i can modify this if i care to just so that we're going to set this back or set this forward like this and then i can go ahead and start making marks but um i want to make sure it's done right this time so as you can see simple little mistakes all right i've got the first hinge line as you can see it's kind of taped together with a spacer in the middle that's what that little gap's for um and what i'm going to do is i've already got this part i got a chamfered out here and a little notch cut down in the bottom right there and this is going to sit between it and be the proper spacing apart with the right angle now what we're going to do is we're going to take this little piece put it into place and let's see how well it wants to line up now, i don't know how well you're going to see this there's a little pencil mark right here we've got to line up with that pencil mark so i'm going to come on in have it held up against uh, the rear fuse, and it's directly in line with the, uh, it, it's a perfect match on that line. So we know the hinge is now in the right spot. Yeah, that took about an hour to make sure it was uh, getting done properly this time. And because this is fixing my first mess up, I checked it out probably three or four times um, just to make sure that as I was redrawing this because as you can see uh, this is all redrawn uh, so it all works up with the indicators uh, and um, I kept testing to make sure that this was going to be right so that way when I put the hinge line in the first time I had a good idea it was going to be right so alright let me go ahead uh, I'll get all the other pieces cut and then we'll get it glued together again alright I know I told you guys I was going to bring it back so you could watch me glue it together and then I figured, if you want to see how I did it, watch the first video. <laughs> it's, uh, there's a whole lot of, once again, a whole lot of thinking. Um, but this one is looking good. I've just got to do a little bit of the final rounding of it. I don't know if you can see it on the back, because I got dust everywhere. Uh, a couple little flats down here. Otherwise, the rest is pretty good. All I've got to do is just come in the very bottom of it. It's already set up. I just have to cut it off. And then... Uh, just cut the two halves apart and then we can go ahead and modify the tail of the airplane uh, for this thing to sit because I've got to have it at the right height so that way the turtle deck can keep sloping so I've got to drop it a, probably about an eighth inch or so down into the top of the plane which they give me probably three eighths of an inch of uh, balsa to work with so I can go ahead and just cut a small piece of that out and sand it and I'll have the fuselage set up on the stand um, and I'll have everything leveled out and then I'll come on in with uh, um, some uh, couple levels and uh, make sure that the fuselage is flat and that the tail gets cut and sanded out flat and I'll find that out by putting the horizontal stabilizer on and uh, we'll measure that so so anyway yeah it's officially done all I gotta do is come in I'll cut this part out and then cut this off this little slope piece here the back side of this right up here, right to there, that part is how this comes in and kicks out at the tail, at the bottom. So um, let me do that and I'll show you what it looks like. All right, this is the difference. And you saw how much the front end was hanging over. I'm going to put the two hinge lines together because it's, they're the same. So I've got a backup. If I ever want to build another plane, I've got another uh, rudder assembly made. So anyway, once we get the hinge lines properly aligned, you notice that we've got one that sits back and it sits back about, it's kind of hard for you guys to see it, but it's about that much, it's the quarter inch. So that was, that was my mistake, was just putting this hinge in the wrong spot. Don't want to say that that's never going to happen again because chances are something like that's going to happen again. That was just uh, me focusing on the wrong thing when I was putting it together um, so unfortunately you know that's what happens
it's looking pretty level. All right, now, once again, don't know how well you're gonna see this. This is the, that's the first one. That's the second one. Okay, this was the first one. This was the one where if I can get it to balance, which I won't be able to do. Let me grab the GoPro. All right, let's see how well I can keep this balanced. You can see how much this is hanging over. There's your quarter inch. And that was too long. It's got to be even with the uh, leading edge of the horizontal stabilizer. If I can catch that without it falling off. Okay, this one should be more tail heavy because this one is more tail heavy by shifting everything back. And there we go. We're good. If I needed to slide this thing a little farther forward, which I probably won't do because that's within within a sixteenth um, all they'd have to do is just shave a little off of this piece right here so that's why I left it I'd rather have to sand it back a little bit than I have to throw a spacer in so anyway um, yeah I'm kind of happy so uh, let's just call this a video on, on how to correct your mistakes um, I don't like doing these videos either um, I've done them before so anyway uh, yeah, so this will be a video, and then uh, next step is to put all this stuff uh, in the back room, and let's bring out the wings and get the wing tips done. We'll see you next time back down here in the shop.